The overall goal of this procedure is to make insects visibly distinct from one another in a non-invasive manner for their identification in behavioral experiments. This is accomplished by first visibly staining the surface of normal Drosophila food in a standard fly vial with a few drops of food coloring. Next, the flies are added to the vial for three hours, at which point the Drosophila should exhibit a strong coloring of the abdomen. Mating experiments can be performed, for example, to observe if females find males dyed a specific color more attractive. Ultimately, this dye technique is a quick, simple, and non-invasive way to label insects for easy experimental identification. The main advantage of using this technique over existing methods, such as removing part of the fly's wing, is that it's quicker, less invasive, and less likely to impact on subsequent behaviour. This method can be useful in a wide variety of experiments where it's important to identify individuals or classes of flies. It's also easy enough to be used in simple experiments in schools or colleges. Demonstrating this technique will be Rudy Verspoor and Chloe Hayes, both PhD students here at the University of Liverpool. After the food has been cooled and solidified, begin by adding 0.5 to 1 milliliter of blue food coloring on top of the food. Spread the dye over the whole surface of the vial then store the food at 4 degrees Celsius for two days to allow the dye to be absorbed by the top layer of food. Next, transfer flies onto the food according to the needs of the experiment. Within one day, the dyed flies can easily be distinguished from the non-dyed flies. To perform a mating